Okay, here's my uh, first little experiment with the, uh, what is this, the 5.56, yeah, 5.56 CN uh, dual timer IC. Um, the idea for the experiment is basically just to um, calculate and set up a timing on the uh, 5.56 timer using uh, different capacitors and resistors to set up a, a timed lighting of a single LED for now. Um, basically the equation for the timer uh, takes into account two different resistors which is one resistor there and one here and the value of one capacitor. Now this timer itself is actually a dual timer as you can use either side of it for two different separate timing uses, but I'm at the current setup. I'm only using one side. Um, I'm planning on doing an experiment with both. But here's how the schematic and that I roughly sketched out and some calculations. Um, this side of the timer using a 100 100k ohm and a 47k ohm resistor, as well as a 22 microfarad capacitor. Uh, after the calculations, produces a 2.9876 second uh, cycle, basically. So it's just under a three second cycle. But I'll uh, let me plug in the the ground wire here and show you its function. You see the LED light up and kind of goes through an initial cycle, and then after that, it begins its begins its cycling. Now the cycling is actually the light only stays on for about one and a half seconds because of the um, the cycle is actually the three second cycle is actually a high and low state but you can see that uh, it is functioning properly so uh, planning on next integrating this with a seven two both sides of this with a 741 op amp um, in order to set up like a real randomized uh, LED lighting so we'll see how that turns out I uh, just wanted to show what switching out the capacitor to a, a lower microfarad would do. The capacitor previously on the setup was a 22 microfarad. Um, I just swapped it out with this 4.7 microfarad. And basically what that does is is makes the uh, the multiplier at the end of the equation uh, lower so that it decreases the uh, decreases the cycle time basically. And you can see the result is a uh, is a much quicker, much quicker light. I don't have the calculation on it, but I assume it's probably about 0 0.8, 0 0.9 seconds. So that's that. All right, I went ahead and completed the setup uh, using the the second timer in this 556 IC timer, um, and pretty much just ran a similar setup on both sides of the actual IC. Pretty messy wiring, as you can tell. I'm fairly new at this. Um, but basically, each side is is independently timing uh, each one of these LEDs, so that uh, you know there's different different flash uh, different flash intervals on it. The only difference in the setup is uh, the capacitors. This side is using a uh, 22 microfarad, and then I've used that 4.7 microfarad one on on this side. So. Let me uh, plug in the ground here and you'll see the effect of it. And as you can see, the uh, LEDs are going through their cycle at uh, two different intervals. So uh, it is working as intended. Uh, the next step in my experiment is to, instead of having the outs the outputs from this 556 IC to the LEDs um, I will be running running the out lines to uh, to two different of the inputs on uh, this OP amp so we'll see how okay I've now uh, integrated the 556 IC timer uh, with the previous setup into the amp um, initially, I used the uh, seven, the TLO82. This OP amp is basically the same thing as a 741, just with uh, two um, two, like I said, independent amps. I was getting a weird result 
um, not an expected result, so I actually salvaged this 741 OP amp from a, a previous experiment I did over the weekend and to see if maybe there's some lack of understanding about the the dual amp um, but I'm getting the same result I guess I'll go ahead and show you uh, what that result is and then explain to explain what should be what I thought should be happening so let me plug it in basically there is a uh, a pulsation on the LED as you can see but I anticipated this to be not only more random, but a complete on and off. And as you can see, it's almost like it's getting a low to higher voltage because it is not completely turning off. That's the off state. And then it goes into this sort of half-powered to full-powered state. Uh, it's an interesting result. What I was expecting to happen is, is basically as the two independent timers in the 556 timer IC uh, triggered the inverting and non-inverting input on the 741 OP amp that the output would be somewhat sporadic considering that the two timings are completely different. Um, surely just a lack of lack of understanding on my part. I'll probably do a little more um, a little more tinkering to figure out exactly what's going on but um, at least I'm getting some kind of result though, so I am getting I am getting input through the 741 amp into the system from the uh, from the timer. So it's a step in the right direction, but uh, not quite the result I was looking for. So we'll keep. So I've come back to this um, blinking LED situation, and I actually discovered what the problem was. Um, basically. On this setup, I was using the out pin on the on the uh, amp uh, to basically power the LED rather than just controlling when its circuit is completed. So basically, all I did is switch the um, the LED is is getting power from the the, the power you know the V plus series of the entire setup. And the only thing that the output is doing is basically completing that circuit through the ground. Um, I think that's where that extra extra ambient power, whatever you want to call it, was coming from before, was me actually sending that power through the amp, or having the LED draw power through the amp instead of just um, having the amp act as a control device. So, uh, so now when we plug in the setup. You can see that it does um, three short and then one space, which is an expected result because the the two different times on the uh, timer are, are approximately 2.9 seconds and 0.6 seconds, and basically in that point in that 2.9 seconds, there's several of the 0.6 second intervals occurring, so. You basically have the the gate being opened by the 2.9 for a certain amount of time, and then that 0.6 during that time triggering itself. So it's a little complicated, but I just wanted to see, you know, really what would happen with with two different time intervals uh, controlling a single device. So I got it working, but I'll uh, already conjuring up some other experiments and, and ideas to try. So. I'm sure I'll have some more of these videos soon. Uh, I just wanted to throw a quick uh, addendum on here that we can actually... I was wondering if you could put things in series um, off of off of the LED leads, basically. Uh, so I had this piezo buzzer from the uh, infrared door alarm um, device that Josh and I made. But basically I just you know put the ground the ground line of the buzzer on the on the cathode or the the negative side of the LED and then the positive on on you know before the LED power there so when you uh, we start it up you can see in here that the uh, the buzzer sounds in uh, in cadence with the LED lighting up so that's thought that was a uh, a fun little afterthought.